Hi everyone, it's Eric from Beeper back with update number three. First, some good news to share. We're beginning to invite many more people to start using Beeper. Things were a little bit slow going for the last few weeks. At the beginning of May, we worked on a pretty major server migration. We moved over to a new infrastructure that would allow us to scale much faster. The good news is that's done now. Uh, we're we're uh, fully working on the new system and we're beginning to open up um, uh, onboardings for new users um, pretty rapidly. Uh, there are still a few rough edges in the onboarding process. And for that reason, I've been doing them mostly uh, manually through Zoom, one-on-one. -on -one. Um, just like we always say, you need to uh, talk to your users and do things that don't scale. And that's been great. I've, I've certainly been able to meet a lot of our early users, get feedback, find out where the bugs are, and fix them. Uh, but we're going to we're going to begin to scale that up. Um, we experimented with group sessions to do onboarding. Um, so expect to hear more about this in the next couple of weeks as we uh, as we scale up onboardings to Beeper. Next up, I'd like to talk about iMessage. Many of you are excited about how Beeper connects to iMessage. And we're excited for you. Uh, we're really um, happy to be able to enable um, users with Windows devices, Linux computers, and Android phones to be able to send and receive iMessages. To date, we've talked about two main ways uh, that we enable people to do this with Beeper. Um, one method is for people who have a Mac, maybe an iMac or, or some sort of some Mac that they leave at home plugged in. With that, it's possible to run uh, the Beeper software on it and the uh, Mac acts as a gateway between your other devices and iMessage. We've also talked about um, a software that we've written for the jailbroken iPhone that would let the iPhone act as a gateway. What we're seeing with our early users is that uh, we need to offer a third method. Uh, the jailbroken iPhone path is great. It's a bit more complicated and it involves us uh, shipping um, an iPhone potentially around the world. That's really hard for people that are outside of the US. So we are um, currently working on a third solution, which is a cloud Mac option. For those of you who don't have a Mac or don't have a jailbroken iPhone, you will be able to connect Beeper to um, a Mac server that we're running in the cloud and log into iMessage there and use that as a gateway between Beeper and iMessage. We're still working on this. There's um, about a month worth of work left before we can kind of roll this out. So for those of you who um, get invitations to use Beeper within the next few weeks, it's possible that you may not be able to get access to iMessage yet, uh, but do know that we're working on that and that it's, um, it's coming soon. The other main limitation of Beeper right now is that we only synchronize recent message history. We are working on the ability for you to pull in your entire history across all of your different chat clients. Um, some people may not want this. Uh, they want to just keep um, recent messages on Beeper. That's OK. It will be an option. Um, but again, this is a, a limitation of the current Beeper app. So if you get access to it, you may realize that it doesn't have all of your old messages. But again, know that we are working on this. and. Uh, What's next? Next up, I'd like to give you a quick demo of the latest Beeper app. Uh, to prepare for this, I actually looked at the video that I posted a few weeks ago from the last update, and wow, it's, uh, it's come quite a long ways already. Um, kind of embarrassed with that first version. But as you can see, we've cleaned things up a lot. We've added a new favorites section along the top. We've added um, a kind of cool menu here that shows your recently viewed chats. Uh, so even if you don't send a message in them, you can jump around and see um, recently viewed messages. Uh, we have made these sections collapsible um, so that you can focus just on your unread messages. I really like this view because I treat my unread messages kind of like a, um, a task list. And so once I work my way through all of them, they just disappear and uh, then I have less issues to work on. Um, we have a collapsible list here where you can filter by chat network. Uh, so you can see all of your messages from each of these different networks if you prefer that. Or you can collapse it and just focus on your main um, unified inbox. Uh, we also have dark mode, of course. Um, uh, and we, 
yeah, just just for those of you who like it a little bit more dark, we um, decided to add that in. But the app is coming a long way. Um, and just recently, we um, we published the first version of our Android app. Uh, let me show you that now. OK, so this is the new Beeper Android app. We just released a beta on Google Play. Um, the iOS app is still in the works. Uh, I guess we might be the first company in the world to release an Android app before our iPhone app. But anyways, it looks similar to the um, to the desktop app. Um, we've got the same section. Some of the cool uh, features on mobile are you can uh, pin a individual chat or conversation to your home screen. So you can get back into that chat with one click. Um, yeah, other than that looks a lot like the main Beeper desktop app. Um, get notifications. We enabled the priority notification features in Android. So you can change the priority uh, base for, for each individual chat. Um, you can post memes, post GIFs. This is a GIF in an iMessage chat um, sent from Android, of course. And yeah, this is, uh, this is the app. Um, I've been using it for a while. It's still got a few bugs you saw there. Um, we're working through those, but uh, yeah, generally, it's working pretty good. Um, of course, we've got a light mode. Let me try to find it. Mm, nope, not here. Um, OK, yeah, so we have a light mode as well. And um, yeah, lots more to work on here, but this is the, uh, the first version of the Android app. Well, thanks for sticking with me through the, uh, the whole update. Um, your turn is coming soon. Uh, we are. We're onboarding more and more users every day, and we're excited to see what you think of Beeper. Thanks.